In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can manipulate molecules in JMOL and then upload them and display them on the wiki. If you have a PDB file in mind, you can simply open it using JMOL, manipulate it, and then upload it to the wiki. But if you don't have PDB files associated with your project, or you haven't found anything yet, you can also create your own small molecule JMOLs using Marvin Sketch and Cleaning in 3D. And I'll show you how to use both of these procedures in this video tutorial. So if you have a PDB in mind, the first step is to simply upload it to your wiki page as an attachment. So go to the Edit Attachments menu and you'll see something like this. Click Attach File, navigate to your file, and upload it. Once it's uploaded, you need to open the file from the internet in your local copy of JML. This is done by first getting the URL of the attached file and then opening a URL in JML. Getting the URL of a link varies from browser to browser, but in Safari, if you right-click and click Copy Link, you'll be able to get that URL. With the URL in hand, come back to JML and select File, Open URL, and paste in the URL that you just copied using Control or Command V. Clicking OK should open up your JML. This may not be the same structure that you saw on the PDB website, because by default, JMOL opens this standard crappy wireframe space fill view. We need to manipulate this view to something that is going to look appealing to an end user and then upload that to the wiki and display it in this unique form. The first step in doing this is to use the output console to manipulate the molecule. The JMOL tutorial webpage has more on how to do this, but for now let's just make it look like a cartoon and color that cartoon orange. We can then move the molecule wherever we want it in the viewing window. And when we're ready for our final view, we then have to write what's called a state file. A state file from JMOL encodes within it all of the information about manipulations you've made from the default structure. So any changes you've made to the structure, any commands you've entered, are encoded in this state file. So we need to upload that to the wiki so we can display our custom view. To do this, you can either click on the red notepad button here, or go to File, Export, Write State, to save a state file. When saving a state file, be sure to change the file type to All Files, and save it as a .txt. Take note of where you save it, and now upload that state file as an attachment to your wiki as well. So for each JMOL you include in your page, you should have two files, the structural file that you upload initially, and the state file corresponding to the custom view that you would like to display. And any custom objects you load in here as well, such as curved arrows or straight arrows, any drawn objects, will also display based on the information in the state file. With the state file and structural file attached, the next step is actually to go to your wiki markup and put in the JMOL tag where you would like to include the JMOL image. If we wanted to include the JMOL image just below the task list, we would do that here. And to include it, you use the JMOL tag or the JMOL macro. Typing an open curly brace followed by JMOL and then providing the parameters will allow you to insert a JMOL anywhere in the page you would like. The two parameters of the JMOL tag are SRC, which is the source of the state file that you want to add. It's very important to use the state file and not the structural file, because the JMOL macro interprets those state files and makes all of the changes that you made in JMOL by default, so the custom view is loaded by default. The second parameter is size and this is going to specify the width and height in pixels of your JMOL. As I said for the Marvin Sketch applet, play around with the size parameter to determine the optimal size for your JMOL. Closing the macro with the second curly brace will then display the JMOL. And once you click Save, you should see it appear. And there it is. Notice the exact correspondence between the image that we drew in JMOL and the JMOL that's now displayed on the web page. 
Using Marvin Sketch's Clean in 3D feature in 3D mode, you can create your very own JMOLs to represent small molecules, chemical transformations, or transition states. In this example, I've drawn the transition state of an SN2 reaction, and essentially what I did is I drew the starting material in two dimensions, added the bromine and iodide using the any bond setting in Marvin Sketch, cleaned in 3D, and then adjusted the geometry to fit the transition state I wanted to depict. It's a good idea when cleaning in 3D to use the setting fine with hydrogenize. Adding hydrogens to your structure will allow JMOL to see those hydrogens. Any hydrogens that are not explicitly drawn out will not be displayed by JMOL. To get a better view of your structure after cleaning it, hit F7 to rotate. When you're satisfied with the structure, save it and then try opening it in JMOL. The best format to use for opening in JMOL is .mol, because all of the information about your dotted bonds, etc., is saved in that .mol file. Upon opening in JMOL, we see that the three-dimensional structure is exactly preserved. And now we can manipulate the model using the output console to change its appearance. From here, adding these JMOLs to the wiki follows the exact same procedure that you've just seen.